Oh, thank God, work is over with. What's for dinner, babe? This is literally dog food. You know what that means? We are doing Factor tonight. Factor is back again for the sixth time sponsoring this channel. And the reason for that is because so many of my viewers have trusted Factor in their life and taken my word for it. Well-rounded, healthy meals delivered directly to your door with a variety of different options to keep dinner time, lunch time, snack time, whatever, interesting and keep you on track. The goal of Factor is to keep you healthy, active and off of DoorDash while still maintaining the convenience. Meals delivered directly to your door that can be prepared in two minutes and be just as good as restaurant quality food. I have been completely out of shape now for over eight years. And this summer, myself and my friends decided enough is enough. So I've been running, hiking, lifting weights. And what's been great is Factor could not have come at a better time because the second half of the battle when it comes to staying in shape is diet. It's tough getting off your butt and running those couple miles every night and junk food can make it really easy to fall off track. But I don't have to worry about that because I'm full, energized, and ready to get my workout, job, and day completed. Adjust your stride this autumn without missing a step. Choose from over 34 weekly flavor-packed, fresh, never frozen meals ready to eat in just two minutes and if you need an extra boost to support your wellness goals and feel your best as you tackle a busy autumn try factors protein plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving this september get factor and enjoy eating well without all the hassle simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavor-packed meals delivered right to your door use my code rf racing 50 for 50 percent off your first factor box hit the link down in the description or the pinned comment thank you factor for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for the support our final full day on the channel with the Silverado ZR2. Definitely bittersweet. We've had a lot of good memories with this truck. Oh my God. Oh. Woo! <laughs> oh. Unfortunately though, there's been a lot of bad memories too. Literally nothing. So I'm excited to offload this thing. We gotta get it cleaned up so that we can head down to Whitmore and finally get the new RF racing off-road rig for the channel. Luckily, I don't have too much stuff in here. Just some water bottles, walkie-talkie. I haven't looked in some of these compartments forever. Oh my God, this is a $50 gift card from Neighbor Rich. This is, I forgot about this. This is a wedding present from him. $50, Rich, thank you so much. I know I've said thank you in person, but looks like that's what we're doing for dinner. Y'all thought I was joking. I think we're all cleaned up here for the most part. Just have the essentials, water, checkbook out all the dash cameras so we can swap those over right away one more quick pit stop and then we'll be good ready to go house say goodbye to this house payment so i'm buying a vehicle for full price i want to give you a vehicle for essentially free the bronco giveaway the everglades edition is live right now by any one of the products on the screen because i have some good news about the previous giveaway winner for the corvette zr1 they just so happened to buy one of my products this key tag is on sale for five dollars right now blowout clearance sale and it won someone a hundred and fifty thousand dollar corvette zr1 so if you want to be just like that and win yourself a pretty badass bronco everglades edition hit up the description or head over to seven 717supply.com. Find my tab and buy any one of those products to get automatically entered. Good luck. I have no clue what kind of offer they're going to give me on this truck. Uh, I can't possibly be upside down after making payments for a year and a half. I don't know. Worst things have happened. Uh, and another thing, I do not have the factory wheels and tires. That's huge for uh, trade and value. So that sucks. There's also a big dent here on the driver's side door and then also a dent on the bed frame. Other than that, everything's in pretty good shape. Nothing really wrong with the bed. There's just some dirt, just needs cleaned out. And then uh, some scratches on the back here from whenever Mike and I were loading up the uh, the Yang straps during the Raptor recovery. This is from the Colorado trip. Tons of paint chips down here. And then on the bottom of the cab, 
super ground down because we bottomed out on both sides uh, at Roush Creek. Roush definitely takes a toll on these trucks. Uh, tons of scratches there too. That one though is, uh, that's new. And I haven't offered this truck in like six months. So I don't, some of these are a little suspicious how these scratches are happening for the vehicle. But other than that, she's in great shape uh, and ready for her next owner. So we'll see what the trade in value on this is. Um, it still has the AWE off-road exhaust. I don't see why that would hurt value. That should honestly, uh, I understand it's not gonna increase it, but it should at least keep it the same because it's such a professional um, and nice exhaust system. I think it's retails for over $2,000. So I can't imagine someone that's willing to take the dive here with the ZR2 package uh, that they wouldn't like the off-road AWE exhaust because it sounds amazing. Oh, and uh, the factory taillights, these are aftermarket. I have the factory ones, so if they like make a big deal about it, I'll just grab the uh, the factory taillights and throw them on. But uh, these look amazing, they work great, they're high quality. But yeah, all the other issues that happened with it are fixed um, and they haven't reappeared. So thank God, no more transmission issues. Uh, it still stutters a little bit, I guess. So maybe that is a transmission issue, but it's just, that's Chevy, that's not me. That's just the truck. So I'm pretty sure every Silverado ZR2 has been doing that because of the active cylinder shut off. One final time firing this truck up, but on to smaller and better things, but I could not be more excited. So let's get this done. I've been talking about this day for a long, long time, long overdue. I love this truck. I gotta be honest, having the full size was a lot of fun. The V8, the 6.2 liter, tons and tons of fun. Aside from the small issues we had, well, they were pretty big issues. Uh, with the internals of this truck, if it wasn't for that, it was very, very capable. Now, on to our next vehicle on the channel. We have a Colorado ZR2 in matching Glacier Blue with 33 inch tires. This thing looks sick. Big rock sliders, definitely mean looking, but this is not our new truck. We're getting something different. So who knows, maybe a full size Z71. We just downgrade, save a ton of money. Stick with the Glacier Blue here to get a, uh, no, this is not a Trail Boss, but we could get a Trail Boss or go back to our roots here, 2500 Duramax. I think that'd be pretty sweet too. We could jump ship here and go forward, the Big Bend edition. It looks like the Adidas logo there. Or do we go the route of the C8, get off the truck game? Anyway, enough screwing around. Here's the new truck.